Hey everyone, Ryan with Stranger with today's Monday Word. And my Monday Word is faith has no backup plan. Listen, I believe there are things the Lord has put in your heart. Faith vision, faith exploits, faith dreams. And there's just got to be a simple deliverance from fear for you to rise up and step out and move with God. Fear limits, fear binds, fear constricts, fear comes to stop you. Faith writes the invisible upon the tablets of your heart and says, go for it. I believe every dream requires a step of faith. I believe every word from the Lord requires a step of radical obedience. We can stay in the shallows. We can stay in the safe place. We can stay in the comfort zone and not get the miracle, not get the breakthrough. But the breakthrough is found at the end of our own limitations. At the end of our own limitations come the possibilities of God. And God wants to unlock possibilities in your life. God wants to unlock healing in your life. You know, Jesus paid the price for you to be completely healed. Jesus paid the price for you to be completely well. But it takes faith to lay hold on what God promised to you and I. And so we've just simply got to be willing to step. When the Lord says to Abraham, get out from your familiar place. Get out from your familiar territory. I talked about this last week. We, Abraham had to choose to obey God. Had to choose to take a step of faith. So many times we're what James calls double-minded. We say, well, I'm going to do this for God, but if it doesn't work out, this will happen. Well, I'm going to try this, but if it doesn't work out, that will happen. Faith says, this is my promise. This is what I'm doing, and I have no backup plan. I'm just stepping out. I love Daniel 11.32 because it said, the people that know their God shall be strong. See, when you know God, you're strong, and do great exploits. I believe God wants to empower exploits through radical obedience, through radical faith. When you've heard from God, you are fully convinced You've got a yes in your spirit. How many of you have a yes in your spirit? I've got a yes in my spirit to, for some things. I don't care what it looks like right now. I have no backup plan. I'm moving with the word of the Lord in this season. Hebrews 11.1, 1, this is the Amplified, said, Now faith is the assurance. I love that. The confirmation, the title deed, it's the yes, ladies and gentlemen, of the things we hope for being the proof of the things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. So faith is that absolute assurance that when God said it, that's it. It's done. Amen. And I believe there are five acts of faith we need to have. Number one is faith sees with the eyes of the Spirit. It has a visionary anointing. We need to see the promise of God. Father, I pray you open our eyes to see in Jesus' name. We don't need a backup plan. We need spiritual vision. Two, it says Words are containers. You fill your words with faith and it creates things in the spirit realm. So you've you got to speak your faith. you got to speak your promise. Amen. Three, it stands. Faith stands. It stands what? Upon the promise of God's word. Paul said, having that all to stand, stand therefore. Winds of adversity come to knock you off of your stand. Stay standing in the name of Jesus. Four, faith pleases God. God's heart's pleased when he sees his kids living in alignment with his will and his promises. And five, this is the best one, faith receives. By faith, we receive from God. Faith has no backup plan. If God has said it, then that's it. We lock, uh, we lock our faith in agreement with the word of the Lord. Amen. And we run forward. There will always be tests. That's why Galatians says, do not be weary in well-doing. We'll reap. In due season, we faint not. In that time period between when we, when we spoke it, when we declared it, when it comes to pass, there's going to be tests and trials. But see, faith has no backup plan. It doesn't look back. It looks at the promise. And it receives the fulfilled promise in our lives. Amen. So keep on going forward. Keep on standing. Keep on seeing. Keep on speaking. Keep on believing. And don't waver today. Don't have a backup plan. When God has said it, you just move towards it.